Hello family, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel, you're welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know this is not just a coincidence. I know it's a divine encounter. I pray this video blesses you in the name of Jesus. And if you're not new here, thank you so much family for always coming back. I love you and I pray for you always. God laid this word in my heart and I thought to share. He laid this teaching in my heart and I thought to share with someone. It is possible to meet the right one for you at the wrong time. It is very possible to meet the right one for you at the wrong time. What does God do when you cross paths with the right one at the wrong time? When you meet the right one at the wrong time, God is surely going to make an evidence. He's going to prove it that this was the right one for you, but you met them at the wrong time. He's going to use your life as an evidence of his supremacy, as an evidence of his majesty. He's going to use this opportunity to showcase himself in your lives. There is a Bible saying that God does not call the equipped, but he equips the call. God does not call those who are already equipped, but he equips people to fit the call. God will not call you to do a task that you, that you are able to do by your natural abilities. God will not call you to do a task that you can do by yourself. But rather, he's going to call you to do a task that needs you to depend on him, needs you to trust him, needs him to empower you for that task. That is what God will do. He uses places where you feel like you are not able to do it to show forth his glory. In the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 20 to 21 it says now may the god of peace who brought up our lord jesus from the dead that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you complete in every good work to do his will working in you what is working in you what is well pleasing in his sight through jesus christ to whom be the glory forever and ever amen God is going to empower you to be in that relationship. He's going to empower you to be able to make the relationship work. It's going to be his ability and not yours. My spiritual father, my father in the Lord always says, where God wants you to be, he empowers you to fit. Whom God wants you to love, he empowers you to understand. So God is going to help you people push through the bad times and give you victory at the end and all of the glory shall go back to him. You will know that if you could not have done this by yourself, this is God. God will enable you, empower you, push through the hard times and bring you to an expected end in the name of Jesus. When you meet the right one at the wrong time, God will empower you to weather the storms in that relationship. He will use the trials of your relationship to make a beautiful love story. He will use everything that happened at the end to bring glory to his name. He's going to make it almost impossible for anyone to glory in the outcome of that relationship. He's going to make it almost impossible for you or your partner or anyone to glory in the outcome of the relationship. He's going to make it in such a way that at the end of the day, you say only God could have done this. Only God could have graduated us from just a relationship to marriage. In the book of Psalms chapter 115 verse 1, it reads, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth. When you meet the right one at the wrong time and things become so difficult, God is going to help you people weather the storm and he will do it in such a way that you would know that it was not you, it was not your partner, it was not anyone, but it was God that gave you people the victory. It was him that held your hands and helped you move and weathered every storm in that relationship. When you meet the right one, the right person for you at the wrong time, God will empower you both to be together. It might not be smooth, it might not be a jelly ride, but God will surely do that. And God is too supreme. Yes, it is true that you might meet someone and not at the right time and they are still full of so many imperfections, so many ups and downs that will cause your relationship to stray. God's will is not governed by man's timing, but God's will governs man's, man's timing. You see, with God, there is no searching of his understanding. He can cause all grace to abound towards you at any point in time. 
He can make anything good. And, and with God, there are no rules, there are no regulations. He can do whatever he wants to do, whenever he wants to do. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28, Have you not heard? Have you not known the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, never faints nor is weary? His understanding is unsearchable. You cannot keep God in a box. You cannot box God. There is no searching of his understanding. When you meet the right one at the wrong time, God will help you guys. If they are, if they are the one for you, God will help you weather every storm. In some cases, God might make you people separate but come back later together. He might make you people separate to go and work individual aspects of your life. But he will bring you back together if you were the one for each other. If you do not come back together, it means that you are not destined to be together. It means they were not the one. But if they were the one and you meet when it is not time yet, either God will help you weather every storm while in that relationship, or you might separate for a time, but you come back together. God will bring you back together. If you felt that you're in a relationship with someone and eventually you never got back together, they are married, you're married, they have moved on, they have to, they've had kids and then they were not the one for you. If they were the one for you, even after you separate, God will bring you back. Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul speaking to the Romans, the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 22, he says, for this reason, I also have been much hindered from coming to you, but now no longer having a place in these parts and having a great desire these many years to come to you. Whenever I journey to Spain, I shall come to you, for I hope to see you on my journey and to be helped on my way there by you. If first I may enjoy your company for a while. So it is possible to part way with the one that was meant for you. But God is going to create another opportunity for you people to come back together. God will create an opportunity for you people to come back together. If God doesn't bring you back together, then probably they were never the one for you. If they were the one for you, God will find every way to bring you back together. I hope this revelation that God gave us will be able to help you maybe right now or subsequently, or maybe you want to cancel someone, you know exactly what is going on in their lives at that point in time. I pray that when you need this information, it's going to come back to your spirit in the name of Jesus. And for those who are in that situation right now, I pray that as I have spoken, may God divide this word to you and give you just that which you need at this point in time. May God divide this word and give you what you need in this particular situation. You're finding yourself at this point in time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Lord, I pray, may this word, God, be divided among the people you want them to hear. May they hear only that which you want them to hear. May they learn that which you want them to learn from this revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, receive all the praise and all the glory, even as we practice these things you have taught us, even as we implement these things you've opened our eyes to, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.